Hello guys, how y'all doing? Mimi's here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys um, about a book. About a book. Yeah, about a book. Yes. So I read a book a couple of weeks ago. And when I read something, I let it sit down a couple of days and then in just a couple of days, it will, it will be forgotten because that's the thing with me, you know, when I consume something, you know, with dramas, movies, whatever it is that I consume, you know, it's a form of entertainment that I consume, watch it, let it simmer, forgotten the next day. But not today, my friend, because today I have a book that I wanted to introduce to you if you haven't read it yet. And it was such a memorable uh, story that even after two or three weeks, I couldn't really forget about it. A couple of weeks ago, I purchased this book. Can you guys see it? Now, if you can't read this, it is because it is in a Malay language. Uh, the translated version would be Confessions or Kohaku, I think, in Japanese because it is originally a book translated from Japanese and translated to Malay languages which is my languages and honestly you guys I don't even know how to expect when I first pick up this book I mean the cover looks nice blame me but sometimes I judge a book by its cover but this is like one of those moments where I pick a book by its cover and I don't regret it a single bit like I pay a, a full price for this you know and uh, it was such a memorable book like I finished reading this in a day couldn't put it down at all and I tell you the reasons why in a minute so first thing first I just want to say this book really caught me off guard it really caught me off guard because I I mean when I picked this book I don't even expect the storyline would be so freaking complicated like there's so many so many layer there's so many layers towards this book that I just I, I, I couldn't keep up honest honestly speaking I couldn't keep up at all and it was like one of the best find I guess this year for me because I, I, I mean this book has been around for quite a long time so it was published uh, in 2007 in Japan but it only makes its way in 2018 so that's like about a decade after that you know because it's translated work takes some time to get those copyright and then to get those translation perfectly blah 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 so many works to be done so real glad I pick up this book based from its cover I wanted to tell you how many layers the stories have but I figured that to do so would ruin the experience of some people who might never even heard about confession or in my language pengakuan so I'm just gonna say it as you know as briefly as it is as surface as it is I don't want to touch like any like you know those important plot like I mean I don't know I mean th th it's very difficult to to talk about this book without revealing too much but all I can say uh, the plot to it was nicely done no wonder it wins so many awards in Japan no wonder it get translated to so many languages and I just wanted to say that this book gave me such a feeling that I haven't had in a while because I mean it's very hard guys I mean nowadays there's so many things that you can watch or read or do like you know we can watch a YouTube video then or you can do it many other amazing things but read a book <laughs> this one it keeps me from all of that for I think about three to four hours straight and I was like gotta talk about this this is amazing I want people to be reading this book if they haven't already let me just lay it down to you guys what the story is all about without giving too much important details the story is about confession of several people regarding an events in a school in which one of the uh, teachers there like one of the teachers there who have a daughter her daughter is dead in her you know in the school that she works at her daughter's dead and she knows who did it she knows who it is and she wanted the whole class to know who did it and there'll be a penalty there'll be punishment for that person who killed her daughter 
and it started off very coyly like you know very like nonchalant like I mean how do you feel when you, your teachers started to talk about a topic that doesn't relate it to your subject like I like guess I have in my lifetime you know I have you know went to school of course uh, sit down and have a couple of teachers talking about their private life and you know stuff like that even though you don't ask them to but they did wanted to talk about it because they're human of course they want to talk about it but what would you feel if that teacher happens to talk about a murder that's just been committed in that school like, wouldn't that caught your interest right away because that's exactly how the story reels me in basically I feel like I'm like one of those students in the school like I mean the teachers was about to tell me a very interesting story only that story is true and it happened in that school a couple of months back like she started to talk about all of these things like you know I mean I'm not gonna get go into details but basically she started talking about it reeling people interest in like she said if you don't want to hear it and you don't have to be here this is nothing related to study or whatever I just want to say talk about something so a lot of students in that class doesn't want to move like they want to hear what she's going to say and oh boy by the end of the first chapter I was so shocked like I was like what is this what is this man? Could it be that I happen to stumble upon a good book? Damn. This is like one of those moments where judging book by its cover really works. <laughs> you know, after the first chapter is ended, in which the confession from the teacher, we got another confession coming from one of the students in that class. Now this time it's the class rep, you know, class representative, and she was talking about her perspective about the events that you know unfold in that school like how she feels about those are involved you know those two kids that are involved in this case and also about the teachers and also about the new teacher and it was like such a complex feelings because I'm pretty sure she's just a high school kid you know very young and the way she thinks seems to be an adult one like you know she thinks clearly like she knows how things work basically and she have her own opinion about things at school when you know when people see this kid they, they didn't think much about her like you know they were just like okay she's a very reliable class representative you know class rep so great I guess but inside it was like a completely different thing as a reader we get to see how she feels inside and I think uh, around chapter 3, because these stories have about 6 chapters. Each chapter represents a different person's confession. And the third one, I think it would have to be... I mean, I wrote this down a couple of weeks ago. I don't know where my notes went. So, the third confessions come from a sister. From one of those kids who did it, who done it. And she was so shocked because I don't want to reveal too much but basically something bad happened to her family after that after you know the, the teacher's confession something real real bad happened now the little I mean the, the sister is is seeing everything that went down with her family and she doesn't understand it either and this is uh, solely coming from her own perspective like she doesn't understand why it was happening so see she begins to dive into her mother's diary old diary just to see what is actually going on because she doesn't live in the house she doesn't know exactly what happened there let's just say this is uh from the family of a boy b i mean there's two boys boy a and boy b the sister found the diary she read it she was shocked to see the content inside because she doesn't really understand how this could go on for so long and she knows nothing about it it was such a tragic little thing and she now have a key to all of this madness that, that is happening and she could either give it to police or keep it to herself or we don't know because you know the, the, the third chapters ended with her contemplating either to give the evidence to the police or not the fourth chapter would have to be coming from the boy B so boy B have his own reasons why he done it and have his own complexity going on inside of his head I mean again I don't want to reveal too much because it would ruin the experience for people who wanted to read this book so I'm just gonna like really like briefly and surfacely talk talks about this kid he's a very weird kid 
weird kid doesn't have a lot of friends might have a friend but he doesn't really feel a connection towards them really that much so he opt to basically surfing around like you know um, sometimes he's in that group but he doesn't really feel it and then one day the boy A talks to him and boy A is basically a guy who was smart well adored by all the teachers because he's very smart and a lot of you know a lot of students admired him because he was always on the top of the class and always knows the right thing to say like a lot of people wanted to be friend with boy A but uh, they couldn't because boy A is kind of like picky in finding friends I mean picking a friend like he doesn't like to be friended with a lot of people like there's only a selected few or you know hardly any so one day when boy A talks to boy B boy B feels oh, this guy talks to me like the most popular the most smartest kid in school talk to me now what would I do he was very excited and the fourth chapter heavily implies his confession like I mean how he feels when this boy A talks to him like the situation in his uh, household his mom uh, the teachers I mean the, the teachers that you know the daughters die like I mean he have a resentment towards her which is of course if you read this book you will you will know why and from the outside he looks like a very normal kid but from the inside he was he was battling his own battle he was uh, doubting himself way too much and it's kind of like uh, complicates the situation because when he started befriended with boy A, it, it really you know becomes a very toxic relationship. He tries to keep up with him and also at the same time try to you know amuse him so that he would continue wanted to be friend with him. It's kind of like pathetic as well because he really wants a recognition. He really wants the validation from the boy A, but boy A was just he was like, I'm just using this kid. I mean I don't even really want to be friends. That's what chapter 4 is all about, uh, boy B confessions about this whole thing. Now moving on to the 5th chapters. 5th uh, chapters is a little bit darker because it comes from boy A himself. Like he is the mastermind through all of this, like all of these events that's been happening, I mean through all of this confession that takes place, I mean he is the mastermind of it, of it all, like he is the, the main cause of it. So. Boy A, like I said, he's very smart, but also very stupid as well. Like, just like Boy B, he also wanted some validations, especially among the adults in his life. And his mom ran away long time ago, so he really craved the attention and appraise from his mom. Like he wants her validation. He wants her to recognize who he is. He misses her, but he couldn't see her because of the deal that was made a long time ago when he was little like I mean basically the father forbids the mom to find and seek for this boy A at any cost you couldn't see our son anymore because you're the one who do shitty stuff to him and basically wanted to leave the, the home so you can't come back you know once you leave you can't come back so uh, because he craved for validation from adults uh, he created a device a very stupid pranky device like I mean it was very stupid and he thought that would impress the teachers when in particular the teachers where the daughters died you know like that teacher that particular teacher like, he was so excited to show his invention but the feelings wasn't the same like she wasn't feeling the same way as he does like he she I me mean, sorry she doesn't feel the same way as he does about the invention and she was like what are you going to use this invention for i mean is it to torture people or animals or what what is this for like she doesn't see the point of it and this kind of like give boy b sorry boy a a little bit setbacks like he was like feeling a little bit you know grudge a little bit grudge towards this teacher like she doesn't understand like i created this because you know i want her to acknowledge me but yet that's not what you know she gives out so uh, let's just say it just doesn't turn out very well when I finished reading chapter 5 I was I was completely blown away 
like how some of these kids think, you know, exactly. And the sixth chapter would have to be coming from the teachers again. And it is like the, the ultimatum about this whole thing. Like this is the conclusion of it all. And again, the twist, the plot twist was just so good. And I was like, I mean, even after reading the last bit, I was like, oh gosh, I mean, it couldn't possibly end it like that, could it? Like, I mean, I don't know what to think. And I found out uh, after you know searching on Google, I found out that they already made this into a movie, and I already watched it myself. It's like one and a half hour movie or so, maybe two hours. I can't really remember because I was more you know inclined towards the books than the movie itself because i feel like the movies relies too heavily on slow motion like of course it gives a cinematic feels you know for that particular movie it gives uh, some you know vibes to it but when it was overused it was getting a little bit pretentious and i was like i, I like the books better though i gotta say i mean i gotta say they capture each and every chapters perfectly i mean all these important parts they don't leave it out they, they put it in it would showcases some of those hard things i guess for a child actors to to be acting and it was pretty complicated but uh i mean if you don't want to read a book i suggest that you watch the movie but i, I like the book better because it's more it's more intimate that way and of course uh, I get to understand more about characters, each and every one of the characters through their confession. Uh, but anyway, after I finished reading this, I was still thinking about the storyline. I was like, can I find anything as good as this after I finished reading this? Well, I guess that's it guys for today's video. But anyway, I really enjoyed this book and I highly recommend it for anybody who wants some crazy plot twists kind of book like i mean if you like murder mystery and that's so, you know that sort of things i really recommended this book it's called confession by kanai minato so i guess that's it guys for today's video thank you so much for dropping in i, I appreciate it if you could leave me uh, some likes comments become a subscriber if you want to and i guess with that being said and done thank you so much for watching and i guess i see you soon on my next one